<laughs> hey, there we go. And uh, thank you to Rumblebug for that follow like five hours ago or something while I was offline. Um, yeah, we are going to launch a game here. I have to go into the other room and grab something really quick uh, while we do that. But welcome. More Baldur's Gate. Woohoo. Um, yeah. Hang on a sec. I'll be right back. Okay. I totally have one thing to finish. Uh, before I do this. Uh, yeah, anyway, sorry. Um... Of course, I forgot I had one thing to finish before I uh, started the, the stream today here, but that's okay. Alright, I'm sorry. Brutal, as always. Um, but yes, I will show you guys in just half a second here what I was working on. Uh, I was working on this, um, which you probably can't see very well, but uh, it is, in fact, homemade beef jerky, which is amazing, let me tell you. Amazing. Why won't my phone read my face? Um. What? I did no such thing, Estella. I didn't remove nothing. No, seriously. I did nothing. I... I... It was not me. Let's be honest. I think you know enough by now to know that I probably didn't do anything on the back end between this stream and last stream. Um, you, oh, now I got the thing over lay so I can't see your text. <laughs> you know, so, like I, I get it. If it wasn't you, who else could it be? But uh, I still don't think it was me. The only thing I did was restart my Edge browser. Um, now I got to look at Blurp and see what it has to say. But yes, I made beef jerky. It is so good. And that won't even load for right now, so... Yeah, I agree. It's not on there. I, wa I wonder, was it a was it a copyrighted clip that they had to move for some reason? I mean, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me because we've been using it for a long time and most of the videos that would have it on aren't flagged for anything like on YouTube. I mean, I know Twitch and YouTube stuff is different, but... Huh. Um, where I was editing, I was editing last night. What, which video was it in? Goodness. Uh,
Yep, I think it was in... Oh, of course. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, well, the major difference is that last time I never put the 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 uh, red pepper flakes in the recipe, so it's a lot hotter this time. Um, but I think I was keeping a closer eye on it, and so we turned the dehumidifier off sooner, uh, so it's not quite as dried out. It's a little like it's still chewy, but it's not as tough. Um, so that's that's probably part of it. Uh, but yes, I was I was trying to find one of the. Now I now I got to look at it here. Um, no, can we? Yeah, if we watch it, I think I know. Yes. Oh, it's it's very good. Um, okay. Here, maybe I will uh, do you all a flavor. I mean, favor. Um. And uh, we will. Nope, that's not the one I want. Uh... There we go. That's the one I want. I think I found the. Uh... Well, I, I didn't find the one we were thinking of, but I found one. Of... I can't remember if it was on this. Oh, that's forty-three. What three fourteen? Um... Oh no, never mind. That's the full length of video with my son in the background. Um... But I can't remember if this is the one I was looking for or if it was a different one. This was just before our trip. You want to buy a new waffle iron just because we were talking about breakfast? Oh, hang on. Of course, now it's got to scan back and find the thing, but... House. I have a few more sticks because I think it's... Talking about a house. Rabbit, well, house. House. I want to cook it with house. sticks, but... House. Where's the house? House is over there, but I wanna no, house. find uh no, house. I don't see any markings there. No, no. Oh, I didn't ask you, no. did I? What's that? I say, there's gotta be a rabbit over here for that to work. No. You wanna buy a new waffle iron just because we were talking about breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in a hot tub. There's a hot how do you know there's a hot tub? I know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm more of an egg. Uh yeah, I'll uh I'll I'll do that, Estella. Let me uh I don't know if this is I think I don't think this is the one that uh that Benthic was talking about because he's talking he was talking about going to the house here. But the one Benthic was talking about was sleep. Um but I, I just came across it and I totally forgot about it until I till I started now. Um Man, I am so bad at this Discord thing. I don't even know where like if it was on mobile, I would know, but I just trying to find uh, like our chat conversations. Good grief! Uh, there we go. Oh, I shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be showing that. Maybe. We got the desktop thing up there. Uh, yeah. All right. Let me go back to the game here. If it will load that in again. Yeah. Then I got to turn the music off while I... Um, it's still on streamer mode, so it shouldn't be uh, throwing anybody off there. But um, can I get this at the share? Okay. So we got to back up a couple of seconds here. Well, it doesn't back up this way like it does in the other ones, so. Uh, all right. Share. Oh, there we go. Now it did. Well, that's too far back now. There, that should that that should take you to roughly the right spot, Estella. Um, for him talking about the house, and there's probably because he's I think he sits here for like a solid five minutes with me, so there might be more stuff you can 
you can grab and use from that. That's I just that's a straight up link to the Twitch uh VOD. Um that's that's the VOD itself, not the highlighted version. Um but that should take you right right to the spot you like that we can uh like it should take you right to here where you like I'm holding the gun and and we're just having that conversation there him and I should be what you get but yeah I I have a feeling the one that Ben Thick is thinking of was after I got home um so I'm almost caught up on on editing I'm gods, not but... dead hey he says he's not dead yes he is <laughs> I'm not Welcome, Jackie. Hi, buddy. Oh, sure. Now, as soon as I start, you want a new show. What do you think of the beef jerky? More? Two thumbs up I got from him here. So, you got, you got to come on the camera and give everybody the two thumbs up. There you go. Woo! Here. I just want you to have a little piece. I don't want to be too much for you. Yes, I'll come and help you. Uh... Sorry, Jackie, I will be back in just a minute, but I am glad to have you here. I'm sure you're raiding, so you probably don't got a lot of time to chat. Uh, four of eight. Very nice. And this is, is this, are we on week two now? I think we're on week two, right? It's so hard for me to keep track when I'm not playing, but uh, love to hear it. Um, and yes, I'll be back in uh, in just a minute, but I got to help, help my son. So yes, week two. Okay, perfect. Um... Yes. All right. Before I try and figure out what, what you're saying, I'm going to get this game screen up and then I... Oh, never fails. There's always something, right? Uh, I was going to say, you guys better have the music at least to keep you company. Um, so yes, four out of eight for Heroic. That's, that's fantastic for week two. Um... Like, I don't think you guys normally, like, your team doesn't normally raid Mythic, right? At least as far as I know. Um... There was definitely some volume there, but we got two things, two things together. We got, we got Estella's walk on, I think, and we got, um, <laughs> that's, that's hot. <laughs> Whew. What, what'd you do? Yep, I don't know what you did, but that's definitely loud. Uh, and I... 80s hair. <laughs> yeah. You lowered yours, okay, yeah. Oh, well, that was right, it was both alerts at the same time. I'm not sure why that, or how that happened, but yeah. Why does it say that Jackie... Re... Oh, the peanut, okay. But... <laughs> Jackie's scary, is that... Oh, Jackie, you want Jackie's sound to be scary, I got you, yes. Yes. Um, yeah, I actually have my headphones turned down slightly, so I'm gonna. You guys got that blasted even louder than I did. Wowzers. Okay. Well, just took something with a walk on. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, that that's a little more uh, more cost affordable uh, <laughs> um, for the points. So. <clears throat> Ooh. Is, ja is Jackie getting special treatment, Acela? I mean, I'm not saying she shouldn't. I'm just asking if you're giving her special treatment. <laughs> but the the walk-ons are the walk-ons are supposed to be like you like a free like once per 24 hours or something like that. I think you've got right. Just just the walk-on is ever fair enough. Fair enough. I was gonna say because you can easily set the like I don't know what what you can do as far as cooldowns go on the back end, but I was going to say, if the cooldown was 12 hours, that would be plenty, because I'm never going to be streaming for 12 hours in a row. Because uh, the likelihood of me doing a 24-hour stream is about that slim. Uh, you know, unless I win the lottery or something, and uh, and don't have any financial obligations. 
Uh, so, we should probably load this game and go fight some spiders, hey? But uh, I do want to say thank you. I uh, do want to make you all slightly jealous that I have fresh homemade beef jerky here. That is so, so good. And spicy. That piece was pretty... So I know on all the things I say, or I see for recipes for beef jerky and stuff, they say, stick the meat in the freezer for ha for an hour before you cut it, because then it'll be thinner. It'll be, it'll be easier to slice it thin because it's harder. Totally did not have time to do that yesterday. So, some pieces like this one is like paper thin, and some pieces are like thicker than paper thin. The hamburger being the three lines, right? When you called it that the first time, Estella, I was so confused. Like, a hamburger? What? But I... Now now that you explained it to me, I get that. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. It still doesn't want to load on the page for me and stay there, but... Oh, blurb walk-on sounds just showed up. And I hit play and nothing. What is the sound? Well, that's supposed to be the angry bear alert. I don't know. Sometimes I have issues with the... <laughs> That's right. It's one of the it's one of those things you've gotta you've gotta have explained to you the first time, and after that, it makes perfect sense. It's it's much easier to describe than the the three horizontal lines. Uh, oh no, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. But yeah, for some reason, it keeps telling me that blurp is not added to my streams. Then I hit get get blurp, uh, and I go through all the setup process. Of logging in and uh, adding it to the dashboard and everything, but yeah, good old confusing stuff. It says this this streamer has not set up Blurp or connected their Twitch account yet. That's not true. There we go. See, now it's logging in. Successfully completed login. And now it shows up. Kind of, I thought. Just a second, guys. Machine status fully operational. System online. One of these days, video games, I promise. 
Oh, well, that's giving me the option to log out. I don't want to log out. Uh... What? Okay, I don't want to try and do this. <laughs> I shouldn't be trying to do this now. Um... Yeah, yeah, on a 24-hour timer, so that it's not being spammed. There we go. <laughs> Welcome, Jackie. That is the right sound for you, for sure. And somebody turned the volume down, too, because that was not nearly so uh, overwhelmingly loud. Uh, there we go. I'll, I'll put it back up on my end, Estella, just so you... If you're going to turn it up a little bit, you will do so with, uh, you know, moderated intensity. But, uh, okay, okay, well, there you go. Maybe it was just that it was turned down on my end. Maybe it was, maybe Jackie's was, maybe the, the bear was quieter before, but yours was still really loud. Maybe that's what, because they both went off at the same time, right, before. Um, but we're like half an hour into the stream, and I still haven't uh, actually played the game. Uh, whoops, what? It's on the loudest setting possible for walk-ons. You turned yours down. Okay. Well, that's fine. I mean, I like you want the scare alert, like the bear scare. You want that to be loud. But as a walk-on, it could be slightly less loud. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, then you're, you know, alters the effect, so to speak. But... I, I, for the life of me, it's escaping me where that comes from not right now, but it just reminds me of the, of the sound clip from Stargate, uh, not Stargate, um, <sighs> Starcraft with the, where the things, where the, the, when the, when the Goliaths get built, they say Goliath online. That's just, uh, you definitely didn't do anything because you didn't know, you don't know how, Jackie? Yeah. Um, too tired to learn it this time. Yeah. Uh, when I first started the stream, the first thing Estella did was accuse me of deleting uh, the the walk-on. Um, I was like, I don't think I did that. I wouldn't do that. Let's be honest. I'm too lazy to have bothered to do that. Uh, <laughs> but that's just me. Um, pardon me. Uh... We could load a game here. Oh, I I turned it. You, you, I broke it. You fixed it. Is that how it works? Well, I'm glad it's fixed. I don't know what I did to break it, um, but I am glad it's fixed. Yeah, that's right. Totally believable, hey? Uh, all right. Chapter four, day forty-seven. And we're getting ready to go into this cave. Are we rested? Nature servant awaits. We are rested. We have all of our doodads. Uh, so, I guess we should do this. Because otherwise, Spit it out. I, I don't need, like, do we need, this is rescuing the, the spider, bro. Um, the guy who got the spiders. What does the, um... Spiders in the Cloakwood, that's the one. What happened yesterday is we... Basically, we sold some stuff. Uh, we are now in the second of the three... Here. Uh, we are We are on... Uh, we are here in the Cloakwood. We went through the Cloakwood. Now we're in the middle of the Cloakwood. We're going to have to go to the far end of the Cloakwood. Um, no worries, Jackie. Especially after a raid, I know... I know what it's like um, with a couple of days... Like with a couple of hours of raiding behind you, how the brain can get kind of foggy so um but by the way yes do tell i absolutely listened to that song jackie i absolutely did yes before even supper because i had a stream to help with supper once supper was in the oven i came back and listened to it it is definitely and, I, and i've heard it before just for some like the 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 name of it doesn't stick because then it, like I, I am on board with the convention of naming a song after the first line in the song. But the first line of the song never stuck in my head. 
Um, cause I, I couldn't tell you the last time I heard even a portion of it. Right. Um, but yes, it was, it was a very good song. Uh, Earth, Wind and Fire. Absolutely. Uh, and just a note before you go, Jackie, I am working tomorrow, uh, but I should be home Tuesday. Just so you have a vague idea of when you might catch the next stream. Uh, but yes, rest well. Don't let us distract you. Get some sleep. Have a great week. Uh, do hope to see you Tuesday, and then probably Saturday's the next chance after that, but uh, just with dancing in September. See? I remember I remember the tune and I remember the, the, the vocalizations more than the lyrics at this point, but I won't punish you by trying to uh Oops. Yes, trying to sing any of it. So It's true. It's part of the chorus and it's at least part of a couple of the verses for sure. But yes, so we, we picked up the, the tale or the quest for Corin the Wyvern Hunter. Something about, I remember there not being something about there not being any clouds in the sky, um, which was totally not my 21st of September yesterday. We had cloud pretty much all day, but it's in there. Sounds like a September farther, farther south. We had sunshine. Yeah, we didn't. But, uh, you know, clearly, clearly the, the day that they're remembering in the, in the song, there was sun. Um, but yeah, so we sold some stuff, and basically, Estella, we came straight here uh, to the Cloakwood. So we picked up the the Wyvern Hunter quest. Of course, we didn't pick up the group member. And then we talked to the guy about the spiders. And uh, then we got we got snared a number of times. Uh, the very first fight we got into, we got into while snared, and it was a bit touch and go there. But uh, now, because again, <laughs> for a, a little while there, we had... Uh, Imowen and Monteron detecting traps. Um, but then it, like, it's not automatically doing that for me when they go to combat again. Uh, you had 19 on Friday and it's been cold today. Like, oh, eight or nine. We, uh, we went down to like plus four last night. Uh, and I think the high for today was like 17. It's supposed to be like low twenties kind of all this week. And then we're dipping down. Uh, to stay in the teens for a couple weeks. And probably it'll go down from there. Uh, just because we'll be, like, in, in two weeks we'll be in October, right? Uh, I mean, less than two weeks, I know, but... <laughs> Emotes. Ah. Everybody's jamming out. I have, I, I have no... Sadly, I have no animated emotes. It's very sad. It's very sad. We just we just have Halo Bear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, that was a terrible sound clip. Uh, your low point today, according to your watch, was two degrees. Well, you do live in a definitely in a different sort of climate zone than than we do here, for sure, Jackie. But. Uh... <laughs> Yes. Anywho, uh, I'm assuming there's spiders in this cave, so we gotta we gotta rescue the spider kid. Uh, oh, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm not quite sure how to how to how to phrase that. Raraluia. Yeah, I guess that would be how you'd say it. Raraluia, but. Uh... <laughs> Just, just for the record, I told you we weren't going to try and suck you in, so you should go to bed. So I'm giving you an out right now, Jackie. As much as I love having you hang out, I don't want you to, to go to bed late and be overtired or anything because of it. So, um, but yes, the, the halo bear. <laughs> you bet, Jackie. Rest well. I think I've said that seven or eight times by now, but, but, uh, always, always a pleasure. Uh, no matter how hard a time you give me. 
Uh, but yes, I, I assume that this thing here is like a big spider warren kind of thing. Um, so we, we fought... Oh, what were they? We fought like a sword spider. Oh, there's, there's a... Bye-bye. She's out the door now. Uh, yeah, so we fought, we fought one sword spider. We bought, fought a few... We fought huge spiders, giant spiders, and we fought two or three warp spiders. Or something like that, like down around the coast here. I can't remember what they... They weren't called warp spiders, I think, but they were something else like that. Um, save and prep, yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm expecting this to be tough, right? We say... This is where we ended, right, right in front of this cave. Um, so I'm not sure what else there is to do prep-wise. Uh, we, we, we rested. We've got all our spells and everything up right now. Uh... So I don't think there I don't think there's anything else we really need to do. Um, we've got everybody's got some health potions on their bars. Along with a couple of other things. Oil of speed. Uh, gained one extra attack per round. Anyway. So we, we, we can use some of these potions if we really have to. Uh, yeah, that goes in here. The Iron Thorn. Oh, right, that's the one that makes you look like a zombie. Yeah, we don't want to wear that. By accident. Supposedly harder. It's, uh, it's harder until you factor in RNG, right? Like, we, we got some good luck with that fight, uh, I think, but... Let me just double check here because Emoen has that that uh -huh. wand still. Um, how many monster summoning? Six charges, and this is the wand of fear. So, um, heart of any creature within its target area. It's not universal because it can be resisted. Um, causes enemies to run in fear unless they save versus the spell. Fifteen foot radius. Right, so we can use that too if we have to. Um, I think the only other... Yeah, the only other one we have is the magic missiles, but she's got magic missiles several times in her uh, toolkit there, right? I suppose we could switch to... Uh, we could switch to fancier arrows. Um, what is that? We've got one arrow of piercing. 1d6 plus 6. Wow. I think we should hold off on that. That's that's something we're going to want to use intentionally. Um, arrow of fire plus 2. 1d6 plus 2 plus 1d6 fire damage. I I would I feel like we'll, we're we're going to use we're going to at least have these on the bar. Um so that we can we can fire some fire arrows here, if we if we need to. Because uh, yeah, we we were having Khalid do mostly melee stuff, but he's been he's such a crack shot with the bow too, that it's hard to not let him fire at least one or two arrows before he wades into melee, especially if we can hit a couple of enemies and get them like on fire. Uh, but the other thing we have that I wanted to check was that Emoin does have uh, this. Aganazar's Scorcher spell, which is like fire damage in a line, right? The Jet of Flame appears to burst out toward one target uh, for 3d6 damage. The Flame Jet strikes a second time halfway through its duration. Well, the caster may move while it's going on. We just need to be careful not to blast ourselves with it, right? Uh... And also, uh, we got to remember we have Bless, but we also have um, Flame Blade here for uh, um, for Jahira here. With this spell, the caster causes a blazing ray of red-hot fire to spring forth from their hand. This blade-like ray is wielded as if it were a sword that the caster already knows how to use. So there are no bonuses or penalties. If the caster successfully hits in melee combat, the creature suffers 1d4 points of slashing damage plus 
1d2 plus 4 da fire damage. However, it is not a magical weapon in the normal sense. Uh huh. You can use them before we go in? Ah. How long does this spell last? Well, so this one I think I want to hold off on. But yes, we have so many potions, I feel like we should use a few of them. Invisibility. That's not really a good one. Uh, stone form. Perception. Insulation. Mind focusing. And uh, fire resistance. Elixir of Health. Magic Blocking. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Give it a try. If it goes horribly, we can always reload. Potion of Genius. Fortitude. Insight. Alright, well. I'm, I'm inclined to agree. Let's, uh, let's see how it goes. You rang. <clears throat> I don't know. So far, we've managed just fine without the potions. I mean, granted, we've had to save and restart a couple of times, but... But why did it have to be spiders? Sorted. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Kill the meat, my pets. Who is this guy? Uh, what kind of spider is that? Of course, it won't let us see right now. That looks almost like a person in some strange way. Um, Send the spiders to their deaths. There aren't any arachnophobes here. Please let us live. We've done nothing to you. Hey, wait. We've come here to, to, to benefit from your divine wisdom. Yeah, that's it. Divine wisdom. Uh, I think we may as well just... Put the spiders out of their misery, if we can. I don't think there's any point in trying to... Trying to negotiate. I don't think that's going to get us anywhere, so... Shut up and die! Senteol? Alright. You have need of me? Yep. Shoot him. What kind of spider is it? A sword spider. Oh yeah, these guys are tough. Alright. Uh... Wow, ten at so twenty-eight damage, and it's still on its feet. That's uh, uh, yes. That's pretty bad, for us. I mean, you've a task. Go on then. Uh, can I help you? This better what be you want? good. Uh, is this a what is that? Oh, that's just a place to loot. Giant spider, giant spider. Okay. You fire there, and we are time? going to... Start with magic missiles. On... Sure, we'll... we'll... Everybody in the back row target that one at the moment. Get over here! down to size! Okay, one down! That's good. You have need of me? Yes, but let's... Switch you to the fire arrow there. Uh, so you shoot that one. Nature servant awaits. And is this a warp spider, or are they just all giant spiders? Sword spider, right? I'm on it. No, nope. where? <laughs> to here it takes four piercing damage, three resisted. Okay. All right, like I said, yes. take a shot. As soon as you can reload there. You rang? What need ye dead? Flaming, or, uh, possibly frosty. Death! Sword spider, 16 slashing damage. Uh, nine missile from Monty. 
Uh, Jahira takes more damage. She's getting a little banged up here. Uh, 30 out of... Oh, 30 out of 48. I mean, she's not low yet, but... Uh-huh. Oh, hi. What? You want to sit on my knee, but I'm fighting giant spiders. What? Oh! I know we're having steak for supper. Aren't you lucky? Aren't we all lucky? Mmm, steak. No, 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 no. No buttons, you big turkey. What's that? No. What show? Didn't you watch it already this morning? Yes, you did. You can pick that up with your mother. Okay, I'll put that away. The jerky thief! Are you a jerky thief? No, my wife was the jerky thief last time. Uh, last time I made beef jerky, she probably ate... Well, she ate over half of it herself. <laughs> While I was at work the one day. Um, so I don't necessarily regret making it spicier. <laughs> Slower down, if nothing else. Um, but it's a, it's a good balance. Like, it's not that hot. Uh, but, okay. Are you going to watch? Okay, then I need to get you to go and sit on the other seat, because I can't really do this from here, okay? You can watch, but I need my need my both hands here. I'm trying to do this like this around you is kind of awkward. Right? No. Okay. Same with me. When the one show you've got on is done, you can come and ask. <laughs> oh, he loves it. Uh, I mean, I... I mean, my, my wife will still, I'm sure, eat some. Like, she tried it and it was fine. Like, it's actually got... Like, you can see, it's actually got flakes of red pepper and some of the seeds stuck to the... to the pieces of jerky. So, I, I should probably have patted them a little drier before putting them in the... the thing. Um, but in any case, here we are. Nice! Five magic damage. Oh, no. Uh, seven and twelve magic damage altogether. Good job, Nira. What is it this time? Alright, are you still gonna shoot at this thing or what? Oh, we did once already. I think. Well, the sword spider's dead from Jahira. I feel like... We did fire one, hit it with, or maybe we missed. Anyway, all right. No! There we go. Party's gained 2,000 XP. Uh, I'm sure we hit. We, we fired an arrow there. Let's switch to the sword now, because. You rang. You have need of me? Yep. You spoke at me? You rang? Oh, Khalid's poisoned. Well, I guess his health isn't too bad, but we still gotta fight this guy too, right? Yeah. At least I assume we have to fight that guy. There we go. Go on, babe. What was that? Oh, my heart's really not in this. Ow! One piercing damage. And I'm poisoned. Okay. Spiders are down. Okay. Yes. This better be good. Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. I think we're just we're just gonna tank the poison for now. Um if it gets to be a gets to be a problem, then we'll see what we can do. But I'm assuming we have to fight this guy now. Oh, yeah. At least we're resisting some damage as well. Yes, I do. I do remember that. Um, last time I tried to cast it, uh, I got interrupted and the spell got cancelled. Oh, there's another spider over here. Great. Well. Alright, we hit him with the fire. Oh, we saved versus the spell, but... Technically, I can use the the slow poison 
from Jahira on me, and then I can use, or no, yeah, and then I can use mine on Khalid there. You know. Oh, great, there's, uh-oh, these guys are tough, too. Yeah, this, is gonna, this is gonna be a fight, all right. You two go there. Um, what need he dead? Just everybody yep. take shots at this guy here. Uh -huh. right, but I want to see if we can move her My turn to over a little Rivers bit. Oh! He took a good chunk more damage there. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You'd think I would know. I don't know if there's a way to look. Uh... No difficulty based damage increases. That's all it says on here. Uh... Yeah, if we can take this guy down, then it'll make the rest of it a lot easier, because he is. Oh, he's down! We got him! Wow! 12 from Jahira, 7 from Emoin, yeah. Let you check how to find out? Can do. You rang, salted. If at first I don't succeed, Khalid's a little banged up here, the wife so... Won't let me forget. Oh, I... Oh! Alright, so... You've a task? You know what, I'm not going to use it right now, because I have a feeling we're going to get more poison here, and I'd rather just take a couple of ticks than get uh, really uh, bent out of shape. Um, I'm going to switch to some arrow plus ones here for Emoen. You spoke at me? That's all. Oh! Yeah, see, Emoen can't really get in. Or Nira, pardon me, can't really get in what close enough to time? use her flame thing to any effect, I don't Wall think. Ah, I keep trying to pause it. Well, something went and did some fire damage. Giant Spider takes five fire damage from Khalid. Nice. Okay. Um... I mean, I suppose maybe if she can get, like, to here. Oh, we never even casted Blast, did we? Well. My turn to save the day. Come on. This better be good. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. No! My blade will cut you down to size. Woo! Jahira takes two fire damage from Nira. Uh-oh. She was a little too close. I, I feel like she switched to this one when this one died, and I think that's the problem here. Uh-huh. Stand back. No! Watch this. I'm gonna say we're supposed to be able to move, right? Click on someone your own size. Click on someone your own size. That's right. No! I can. No, no, no. Try. What is it? This? I'll do it. There we go. But target. Yeah. See, now we're getting both of them. Move over here. No! Here it takes two more fire damage, but the spider's taken more. There we go. Now we're at least in the right spot, but. No! You rang? Yep. What okay, need gotta you finish get? this one off. Barbarian death save six. What am I death saving from? I have no idea. Dan is here! Oh no. Well. 
I'm glad you're here, Dan. And whatever's up, I hope it's better and looking better and uh, and, and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, you're welcome to, to hang out and, and do what you, what you can do. So, uh, yeah. Sounds good. Ah! Taking so much damage here. <laughs> uh, there's Dahira. Yeah, she's in kind of rough shape. She's going to have a potion of healing here. There we go. That that did good. So that one's down. 15 slashing damage from Khalid. Okay. Can I help you? <laughs> oh, Nightbot giving Estella the... <laughs> gotta, gotta change a setting or there too. Or something there too, Estella, I think. But uh, but absolutely. All, uh, all the love and support, Dan. Uh... We're, we're with you, whatever's up. But Estella better better be careful. Or uh, or you're going to get the Jackie treatment. <laughs> get warnings from the... <laughs> Two, four... That's only six uh, emotes. That's not exactly what I would... Call spam. There you go. No, No spam now. Anyway, okay, we're we're we can see the other side of the fight here at least, so that's that's positive. I warrant your attention. Oh, frabjurous day. Frabjurous okay. day. Is that even a word? Uh huh. Uh huh. How about a chromatic orb now, just just for some variety? You have need of me. Our barbarian takes four. No! There we go. Eight missile damage from Emoen. I, I think we've got this. Like I think we're, I think we're good. But we have to be just a little bit careful. Spit it out. What are we at here? We're, 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 yeah. We're gonna grab ourselves a little potion here. I think. No! There we go. Uh, yes. Right, get in there with that sword. No! All the all the poison damaging. Right, ah! Let's let's focus on getting one of these guys down. No! Goodness. All right, that's what we're down to one guy here, so that's that's perfect. Go suck your All right, you rang. I mean, don't get me wrong; he's got a lot of health, but uh, I think we can take him. Flaming <coughs> or uh, possibly frosty death. There we go. I think that's everybody. Uh. Options, gameplay, difficulty. Apparently, difficulty is easy. I don't know. There, there's a slider here. Tooltip delay, keyboard scroll speed, mouse scroll speed, and difficulty is set to easy. I, I, it was more complicated than that when we sort of signed up at the beginning, right? Um, there was more choices to than than just medium, hard, easy. Uh, I thought I set it higher than that, but. Well, okay, that's the end of the fight, I think. So we get gold and a ring. Yeah, when it's when it seems too easy, we can put her up. That's good. Uh, okay, so Go on, then. I am going to use slow poison on. Oh, now Jahira's got it too. 
I'm using it on Jahira so she can cast other healing spells, and then she's going to use it on me. I could use a little patching up. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh, looks oh, like Jahira oh, leveled up there, too, and so did Ima, uh, uh, Nira, but... Uh, slow poison on me. And then we can both no. do some healing. There we go. You've attacked? That's to hear us. Spit it out. Oh, barbar- I keep forgetting I have barbarian rage too. Doesn't that make us take more damage as well? Uh, and then oh, Jahira. What now? Need your pantaloons pressed? No, I need you to heal Khalid, your friend. No! No! I'm gonna say, what's happening here? I'm weaker. I'll need a healer as soon as possible. No! More. Okay, poison is done for him, it looks like. Phew! Yep, that was intense, all right. Let's uh, cure light wounds a few more times. And Barbara... Oh, oh, yeah, okay, fine. On Khalid. Oh, you rang. You rang. Let's heal ourselves again there. 33, 30, and 21. Okay. Nope. By your command. Yep, we definitely would have been better off to have uh, Blessed on during this fight. So. All right. Just give me one second here, guys, okay? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel like that fight was super easy, but I can definitely imagine it being a little bit harder than it was. Absolutely. Okay. So. I think if we've got one more heal, and we're going to use heal this time and not blast, we'll heal me here. Any other stuff? No, there's just. Go on then. Let's get. He spoke at go suck your blade. What you want? I want you to check I'm for gone. traps or illusions, in whatever this is. Oh boy! Fire opal ring. A blue ring. A wand and. A two-handed sword, probably a spider-killing sword. And here's the body of the poor... Of poor Chelek. Yeah. All right, Emuin. You don't need to carry that. Uh, 
I guess technically all this stuff should go to her to get checked out. Uh, we should have a couple of um, identifies on us right now. Spider's Bane. There you go. I should have guessed that. Um, originally forged by the dwarves uh, of the Orother tribe in Cloakwood, they created the blade to help foster goodwill between them and the Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate. Uh, I was lost, ironically, fighting against Ettercaps and Spiders. Who wields the blade now is unknown, but its recovery could aid greatly in fighting the current spider infestation. Mm-hmm. Equipped abilities protects the wielder from any magics that affect movement, such as hold and web. And it does plus two damage. Well, that's pretty good. Something tells me... Oh, can't... It's a two-handed sword. Shouldn't that be something Khalid uses? Isn't that his... A long sword is his thing. Well, maybe it is better if it goes to uh, Can I help to you? me then. Uh, right. It does less damage if it's equipped, but do we get the effect even if we're not holding it? That I'm not sure about. Uh, equipped abilities. Right, we got Condar there too. Uh, anyway, we'll see how that goes. Oh, there it is. Ring, green sun ring, silver ring. Okay. Let's check out what this ring is before we... We'll have to rest, reheal, and whatever. I don't know if it's safe to rest in this spider den here, but uh, identify. Discipliner. Ring of Folly Discipliner. Off the bane of the careless mage, this ring was actually used to promote humility. Uh, a Grand Wizard of Narfell would give the Discipliner to his most skilled and most egotistical students. Through their blind arrogance, they would mistake the ring as a reward for their obvious brilliance and not the punishment of a disapproving teacher. Equipped abilities, intelligence, and wisdom scores are set to three. May only be removed with a remove curse spell. Soon Khalid doesn't know what to fight with. He's very not very confident in his abilities. Doesn't seem like he's very confident in general. Um... Like, even though he he's very strong, like, he's got three proficiency points in, like, bows and, uh, and, uh, long swords. So it's not that he's unskilled, it's, you're right, it's that he's unconfident. So this isn't actually that great a ring, unless your wi intelligence and wisdom are very low. Uh, in which case you could use it to boost your intelligence and wisdom, I guess, but. Oh, and this is another wand. Well, we can't do that right away, but. You can put the discipliner in the doodad there. Oh, and the Andar gem, sure. Um, am I any more in danger to rest in this cave than anywhere else? I have no idea. I'm just kind of wondering out loud. Um, what is it this time? Okay, we'll quick save here, and then we're going to. Uh, level up, I suppose. Uh, proficiency in quarterstaff. That's the only thing she's proficient with. So we should probably get her to be proficient in the sling if we get a, a proficiency point. Uh, yeah, that fight wouldn't have been quite so bad if we hadn't kept hitting Jahira with our flame finger type attack thing. Uh Oh, wow. Just straight up stats. Additional made spells, level 3. Level 1 spells, 1 level 3 spell. Oh, we got level 3 spells now. That's that's a thing. Okay. Now we got level 3 spells. Oh, oh fireball. Now we're talking. Uh level 3, range 40 feet, cast time 3. 
saving throw half damage. A fireball is an explosive burst of flame that detonates with a low roar and delivers damage proportional to the level of the wizard. 1d6 for each level. Up to 10d. So we're level... Like it's a third... I don't know. Does that mean it casts 3d6 points of damage? Um... The discipliner would help you. <laughs> Definitely interesting. Uh, what is the range on this thing? 15 foot area of effect radius. Wow. So you definitely want to be careful about using it on uh, someone you're close to. Um, a streak flashes from the pointing digit and, unless it impacts upon a material body or solid barrier prior to attaining the prescribed range, blossoms into the fireball. An early impact results in an early detonation. Creatures failing their save suffer full damage. Those who roll successful save manage to dodge, fall flat, or roll aside, receiving half. Or flame arrow. Range, oh. It says right there, range 40 feet. Flame Arrow has a range of 60 feet, which lasts one round. Uh, hurl a Fiery Bolt. Uh, one to each bolt inflicts 1d6. Piercing damage plus 4d6 fire damage. The caster receives one bolt every five levels beyond the fifth. Right, two bolts at 10th level, three bolts at fifth. Oh, okay, so... Doesn't this this scales harder, but uh, use the arrow. Okay, I was gonna say forty six damage is a lot of damage, plus the base. Um, all the bolts will streak towards the target of the spell. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right, it, it hits something and then it explodes. So it's kind of great if if like if you can use it as an opener or if you're playing as like a like some sort of a. Yeah, which I'm not super amazing at just now. <laughs> All right, let's 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 do Flame Arrow here. There we go. And I think... Oh, no, that's good. And then we've got... we got two more first-level spells. Um, I, I'm just as happy to take Chromatic Orb out. I don't feel like it's doing very much damage now because it doesn't scale with oh well maybe it does uh oh blinds the target second level inflects infect oh can we do it at second level how does that work or is that just your level when you cast it uh Uh, second level inflicts pain and a penalty. Third level, it does additional damage. And fourth level, blinds the target. Uh, or stuns the target. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's more useful. Um, uh, victim saves uh, with a plus six bonus against the effects but gets no save against the damage, right? So you can you can resist the 12th level, 2d8 acid damage, and instantly kills the victim. <laughs> uh. Ooh, 10th level turns the victim to stone. Wow, that's brutal. Try grease with fireball. Oh yeah, I can see that, right? As a combo. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I can totally see that being uh, sort of magnifying the effect of... Like, if you did it right, you could cast Grease on an area. You could pull enemies as they walk through it and then hit, try and hit them with Fireball at the same time. It sounds fancy, but it sounds tricky, too. Uh, is, is Chromatic Orb worth keeping at this level, or should I switch Chromatic Orb out just for magic missiles? I know you want me to use uh, Reckless Dwemer uh, as much as possible, but... Uh, Shocking Grasp is kind of for melee, right? Yeah. It 
Burning Hands is also kind of melee, right? Oh no, that's a cone effect, right? Both are low level, right, yeah. Well, I'm just wondering if the, like, if we're at, like, low, like, so we're doing a little bit of damage, but we're getting the more, the chromatic orb gets the status effects when you get higher. I mean, it's low enough that it probably doesn't matter right now. Um, will fire arrow, because we took, what is it, flame arrow or whatever? Yeah, will that work with grease as well, or is it only the explosion that matters? Um, just use MM. Oh, magic missiles, yes. Yeah, that's true. They don't have a long cast time either, do they? Mostly I'm just trying to decide if there's anything else I really need. Like, shield doesn't seem terrible. Um, but I guess it depends a little bit on what uh, anyone's armor class is already, right? Uh, yeah, so her armor class right now is eight. Oh, oh, that's the number, right? But so five sleep, I suppose. I hadn't thought about that, but, uh, right. Yeah, that's fairly fast too. Uh, causes a comatose slumber to come upon one or more enemies. Other than undead and a few exceptions, yes. Yeah, that that would help you split a split a fight in half as well, wouldn't it? Um, so you only have to like if you get four enemies and you can sleep two of them, it's like fighting two enemies at a time. Uh, how long does it last? Duration five rounds per level. Well, we can grab it at least once. Uh. Duration, two hours. Ouch. For blindness. Uh, but sleep can affect more than one person, right? Should we should we put in a reckless dwammer on the bar just for fun? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> we might regret that, but uh, okay. So what do we got? We got colors or glitter dust. That we kind of had that because I was um, afraid we might run into some enemies for. Uh... Oh well, this kind of does the blind thing anyway. Um, I thought it kind of prevented stealth. Uh... Right. In addition, enemies who fail their saving throw are covered with dust, which cannot be removed, and continues to sparkle. Revealing invisible creatures. Horror. Uh, luck, hey? Plus one bonus to saving throws, attack rolls, and minimum damage healing rolls. 5% to all thieving skills. Uh, you also like web. I didn't see. Oh, there it is. Well, web, we were kind of, I think we were kind of affected by it ourselves. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, a little bit like sleep in that it can help you kind of salvage a, a, a sketchy situation. I, I do kind of like the flame thing, though, but uh, it's a little tricky to use. I mean, obviously, I managed to burn one of my own characters there a little bit, but... Well, I guess if we have it, we can use it. If we don't have it, we can't use it. Yeah, that's flame. Yeah, we've got flame arrow, right? Okay, so that's good. So much for that. Now, Jahir is leveled this up. This would be a good place for a hench. <laughs> Let's save again. Uh, okay. Let me just double check. Club. Club is her strong suit. Uh, I don't, I have a feeling we're not going to get Demon Fighter level four and a Druid level four. So I'm not sure how, I, I'm still a little bit vague on how the leveling up works. Did we both, did we level up both of these at a time or just one? Anyway, we're probably going to get, probably not going to get a, a proficiency. Just Druid. Oh, I can see it's got the, yeah, that, oh, that's the experience versus the level, I guess. Right, so when the fight, we'll do the fighter when the fighter thing comes up. So this should affect our our spell slots this time, not likely our proficiencies. Um, I'd be tempted to give her another point in sling, although she's basically a frontline fighter, so. Yep, no new nothing. Level up results. Uh, additional priest spells, level two spells, one, level three spells, one. Additional hit points gained five, lore increased by one. So nothing fancy, except we do get, whoops, more spell slots. Uh, oh, we already have all those? Oh, no, we got a level two slot and a level three slot, right. Um... Yep, good berry is fun. I like this. I forgot we got we can cast that now actually, and uh, and get some benefit out of it um, to heal everybody up a little bit. Uh, oh goodness, call lightning! Must be cast outside, otherwise it will not work, and the spell is wasted. Call down of one bolt of lightning per round, uh, one round every four levels of the caster. Each bolt causes two d eight electrical damage. Plus 1d8 per level of the caster. An eighth... Oh, goodness. 2d8 plus 8d8. I mean, I guess if you're at eighth level. Uh, both of the lightning flashes down on a vertical stroke at any of the priest's enemies. First enemy struck will be the enemy targeted. After that, any enemy but no allies may be struck by the ensuing storm. Oh, that's interesting. Uh... One round every four levels. So we've just got level five. So technically only lasts for one round as it is. But it's nice that it doesn't... Uh... Oh, cure medium wounds. Oh. Um... 14 points of wound or other injury. Uh, curing is permanent only as far as the creature does not sustain further damage. Caused wounds will heal or can be cured just as any normal injury. I think we kind of got to take one of them just for uh, some safety's sake. But hold animal, dispel magic, purge invisibility, mist cast. Uh, visual range. Any spell casting creature that is affected by this spell has its casting ability severely disabled. When the creature attempts to cast a spell, it suffers 80% chance of failure. Um, oh, project protection from fire. Rigid thinking. Victim will randomly wander, attack the nearest person, or stand confused. Strength of one. When this spell is cast, party members in the area effect are given strength score of 18 out of 75. Party member has a strength score higher than this, either naturally or through magical items. His strength is lowered. Okay. Summon in oh, insect swarm. Oh dear. Casting time nine. 
Oh, but lasts for seven rounds. Uh, attracts a cloud or swarm of normal insects to attack one enemy. Gathers at a point chosen by the caster within the spell's range and attacks any single creature the caster points to. Victim may make a saving throw with a minus four penalties to escape the swarm. One point of damage every two seconds for the duration of the spell. The victim fights with a minus two penalty to attack roll and minus two to armor class. The swarm will repeatedly bite the target, making it very difficult to cast spells. <laughs> or zone of sweet air. Hmm. Repels noxious elements from poisonous vapors, including magically created vapors such as cloud kill. Oh, cloud kill sounds nasty. Uh, dismiss all clouds in the entire area that the caster is currently in. Uh, offers no protection against poisonous vapors created by a dragon's breath weapon. Hmm. Not remember to turn my microphone back on either. Um, just getting 314. Wow. You go away. You go here. Uh, 314. Oh, because we're carrying the carrying Chelak's body here. I don't know. Do we need to bring that back? 185. He'll probably appreciate it if we bring that back, won't they? Okay, we normally walk faster um, than everybody else, so. Let's give the... Uh... Why I gotta do that, game? Oh, well, no wonder. I just had to hear I use them instead of, uh, you know, because when you me? empty their inventory. I want his health numbers to at least turn yellow. Which I think is at 50% there, yeah. Give the rest of those. Actually, yeah, give them to me. Well, I guess maybe I did use some, right? Spit it out. Fire arrows out, regular arrows in. Regular arrows back in for Emoen as well. But I don't regret using those fancy arrows for a second. Okay. You rang. Sorted. Go on then. Why can't Sorted. I? Sorted. 
Oh, I can't move because I'm encumbered. Oh, goodness. So I can't move at all. Can we not bring this body with us? I guess I'm also carrying a bunch of swords and things too, aren't I? Can we get down to... I don't know how low we have to get to... Uh, Spider's Bane... Vulnerability, health, what's this one? Heroism. Right, can we move now? Nope. Wait, 10. Little, little bugs. Yep, there goes our, our internet now. Giving us, uh, oh, we're dropping like 9% of our frames all the time. Lovely. I love our internet provider. Really, I do. Really. I mean, no, nobody, nobody in our party can carry more than me at 220. Right, so two sixty four. There we go. I, I gotta move more slowly, but I can move at least, so that's that's good. Uh all right. Come on. There we go. Spiders are slain. Yay. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to rest here. I don't know if it's a good idea to rest in here or not, but that's why I saved. But we definitely need some time to recover. May not rest here, of course. Yeah, I I our bit my bitrate just tanked. Uh So yes, I'm not shocked. Um we are we are considered unstable. You know, that's the stream, not my mental state. Although, uh, you know, questions may be asked. Um, but yeah, I'm dropping almost 10% of my frames at this point too. So, of course, one of these days we're going to get our, our internet uh, way better. But apparently today is not that day, guys. It's just not that day. So I'm sure it's not just for you, Estella. It's for all other, the other, you know, two or three people who are here. Because everybody's leaving because my bitrate is terrible. If I had to make matters worse, I'm talking with my mouth full. Because of this tasty beef jerky. Speaking Alright, well, we have to go outside. I'm on it. Well, I mean, sorted. We should still be able to rest here, right? Let's give it a try. Yep, there we go. Yeah, sadly, there's nothing I can do at this point about our. Uh, uh oh. A giant spider. Uh, yes. Yeah. Get him. You rang. If a tree falls in the forest, I'll this kill the bastard who's done it. Suck your blade. Yep. Actually, use your use your knife for a change, uh, Imuen. What need ye dead? You rang. I did. Sure. Why not? Oh, no, we probably don't need it. Let's just fire the sling. There we 
we go. 450 XP. Go Sorted. Oh, come on, guys. Stand nice. Stand nicely. All right. Let's try sleeping again. See if that gets us anywhere. Does it? Does it? Ah. Okay, we are rested now. We're still banged up, but uh spit it out. There we go. Nature serving. Now Tahira has Ah. Cure medium wounds. What does that do? 14? So that will be 48 on uh, up to 48 for Kaleem here. I think. Yep. There we go. I think it generally casts healing spells for you when you choose to take a rest, right? But... Cast it one more each on these guys. You'll never leave. <laughs> well, let's let's be honest, Estella. If you left and went, some, like you wouldn't be able to watch any other streams, right? So, so you know, since you only watch the one streamer, not not sure why you're subscribing to other people just for the sake of having emotes. I mean, clearly you don't watch anyone else. You rang. Of course, we got a lightning I'm storm. On it. All right, let's try this again. Your messages might be ten minutes late. That's not on you, though. That's not. That's on Twitch. Uh, of course, before we do anything, we should really, um, since we have uh, identify still, we should identify this wand. It looks uh, pointy. Wand of Frost. That makes sense. It looks like an icicle. Uh, white crystalline motes spray forth from the wand in a column towards the victim, striking them square in the chest with numbing force. The temperature inside the column is deadly, and damage is 8d6? Holy smokes. Holy smokes. That's anywhere from 8 to 56 damage. Wowzers. How many charges? 12 charges. Man, those wands are strong business, aren't they? And you can get the, wand, the charges restored when you sell them to a vendor and buy it back. Oh, man. All right. Well, like I said, let's uh, let's sleep here again. Try to get as rested as we can before we. Cause I think we gotta. Well, we gotta go back to the spider guy's brother. Okay. Oh. Oh, we should have cast yes, the. Oh, omnipresent authority figure. We should have cast Goodberry again. Pray be so much easier to find in the city. All right, Monty, I get you. Well, then. I'm pretty sure we have to. Is it just the guy just up here? I think so. I'm on it. All right, well, let's make sure we don't get. Uh, yeah, we got to walk slow for now while we bring the guy's body. Um, no, 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 just stop doing cannot... all this silly business. You spoke and Monty, me? get your get your detect trap You've business going here. Done. Nope, not to here. <laughs> You're a queer. This way. Spit it out. Right, what's this then? What you want? I've done had you enough. Right. I'm on it. Yep, this way. Like I said, I don't want to send her too far ahead, just in case well, there's uh, enemies, but. I 
care not. I'm gone. I think we. Oh, we sighted an enemy. A huge spider. Uh, can I help you? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. This better be good. Nice, not too shabby. Nature servant Speed. awaits. Uh huh. Nice, way to go, Nira. Using that sling to great effect. You rang. And the rivers run red! Go on then. Oh, 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 holy smokes. 16 slashing, and then 6. Spit it out. What you want? I've done had enough. You resorted. Yep, that was pretty solid. Yep, I'm gone. Um, Go on, then. I'm all so in. the bit rate does seem to be a little better now. Uh, yeah, it's kind of stabilized to where it should be, but yeah, at our peak we were. Uh, a lot of wisdom and good advice. <laughs> We'll see. I mean, I was up helping my wife for a few minutes there, but you probably had to sit through all that. Uh, but yes, just, I don't know why, like, and it's not uncommon at this time of day for it to do that, right? I can't, I've done had enough oh. of this. Spit. I'm on it. Oh, it's over here. We gotta go. I'm gone. You rat. Right, what's this then? What you know, you I appreciate I'm the gone. vote of confidence. Go on, then. I'm in on my, it. uh, yep. in the quality I of my content. Of this. Oh. Another huge spider. Okay. Back up. Spit it out. Everybody kind of take up their normal right, positions. Oh, I said normal positions. Okay. I care not. Imun, come I'm here. gone. Imun's gonna set up a trap, right? Oh, she can do two traps now. Huh, you're a qu I've done had enough of this. Uh did it stop? Did it notice the trap? What happened? You have need of me? What need you What is get? it this time? What you want? What? <coughs> Guess it doesn't matter too much. Even one critical mess. Whoops. You rang. I'm on it. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd be surprised if there's only the one. That's right, you follow me back over here. Um, you spoke at yep. me? You rang? Eat flaming! Or wow. Possibly frosty. S death. 16. 22. That guy did not stand a chance. Alright, well. Sort. I wish it would leave a mark for me to let me know where I left a trap or if the trap was, you know, sort of sprung or not. I but. I've done had enough of this. Like, will she see it with her detect traps? I was right. There's another one. Oh, I was wrong. There's two more. If at first I don't succeed, huh, the wife you're a queer won't fellow. let me forget. Something must have happened because it did yes, not. Whoops. That's all, folks. Oh, sure. That's all, folks. You've attacked. This better be good. Wowzers. Yeah, these guys are not taking a lot of uh, most of these quote unquote random encounters are not uh What you want? Go on then. I'm not really hitting us too hard, are they? Yep. I don't imagine the traps are gonna be reset, but yeah, there's the person, so. 
Dun, 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 dun. I'm on it. Well, I hope bringing this body here is, is worthwhile. I hope this guy cares. Excuse me. Please let me speak before you attack. Chalik. Oh, Chalik. How will I ever tell Mother? I was so stupid. I should have stopped this stupid idea. Such a waste. Such a waste. You can keep the sword. It's been more of a curse than anything else. I thank you for bringing my brother's body. There was little you could have done. <laughs> so sad. Understandable. Um, and yes, I guess it was worth it to lug this guy's body all the way. I don't know what you do if... Like... Like, if we didn't... If we weren't able to carry, like, 220... Because, like, the first one we did, our strength was a lot lower. And our um, paladin could only carry, like, 120... Uh, units, whatever the units are. So, like, that's a hundred less, and the body weighed, like, 185. So you would literally have to strip off all your gear and all your weapons to be able to carry the body. You have to, like, dump it on the ground and equip everything in a hurry from other people um, in order to get going, but... Uh, 800 XP. Kind of a... Uh, I don't want to say a letdown, but less, less. We got the lion's share of XP from, from fighting the guys. Uh, Tiber gave us the sword known as Spider's Bane. For whatever good it shall do us, but at least we're not going to be. You right. Uh, yeah, I'm not overburdened anymore. Guess you can put these back in your back pocket. Did we leave the plus one? We left the plus one in the cave. Because we had... Uh, well, unless we gave it to... No, we gave it to Khalid. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, this... Oh, good grief. Condar, right? Yes, Condar, plus one. Okay. That's a little better. Like I said, he can carry more weight if he has to. Um, well, now that our weight's a little more well-managed, uh, I suppose the question is, do we want to go on or do we want to go back now? Like, I guess technically we need to go to the north and then we can sort of proceed. Oops. Wow, that was farther than I thought it was. Yeah, there he goes. See you later, Tiber. Go on, then. Right, what's this, then? Mr. Kirk. James Tiber Kirk, right? I think we may as well go on like we're not I don't know if we go back from here it's gonna take you know like 28 hours to go back to the friendly arm to sell stuff I don't think we're I don't think our inventory is that cluttered or that we're in that much trouble that we really spit it out like if we get up there and we find out that there's yet another uh cloakwood Salty. region we have to go through that might be a bit different reminds I care me. Enough. You right. Right, what's this then? Uh. Alright, well, let's go over this way then. But we did it! That's right! Woohoo! We carried it all. We brought we brought the dead body of Chelak back to his brother, uh, Tiber. We 20 hours to get to here. Good grief. Well, I mean, what other choice do we have? There we are. Now I feel like we should rest. Um, since after 20 hours, we're going to be tired. 
and we could probably do with some uh, restored. Let's 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 make some berries here. There it is, good berry. How many do we get now? Uh, right, there we go. Five of them. I felt, I feel like it should go up by, like when you, oh no, it just says, uh, casting a good berry spell creates five magical berries. There's no actual upgrade to it. It's just nice to top off somebody's health if they take a couple points so we don't have to we can keep them topped up. Oh, we could have put one more second level spell in here. Um, I don't know. I think uh, I think having a second cure poison is a good idea. Or not cure poison, slow poison, whatever you want to call it. Um, all right. Sleep. Are we gonna get woken up? Sleep. Sleep. All right. Well, go on then. Stop detecting. Huh, Why would you stop clear, detecting fellow. traps or illusions? Spit it out. I'm on it. What you want? This way. The real question is, where are we going? I guess we can't go over here because it's water. Let's, so let's go kind of back and forth. That's kind of our strategy now, I think. Oh, what is that? Eldoth! Well, that's a person. Okay, well. You rang. I'm and I guess we're okay with talking to the person. At first I thought it was like a zombie kind of thing, but now I realize it's just a person standing there. Ah. Uh, however, we should probably... There we go. Gentlemen, gentlewomen, may I introduce myself? I am Eldoth Crom. I am Eldoth Crom. Sorry if I seem out of breath, but I had to retreat from a battle. I was ambushed by a dozen gnolls farther back on the trail. I handily dispatched them, but thought better of fighting their half-dozen ogre friends. I think I've evaded them for now. Would any of you care to drink some of this fine Salguntian brandy? Give us the bruise. Likely story, and we defeated 50 Tarasks a day ago. Uh, that's that's interesting. Do we, do we want to have a drink, or do we want to boast and tell him to shove off? Uh, all right, let's hear him out. Let's see if... If that gets us any... We just saved, so if it really casts you, we can come back and... I hope you are enjoying your liquor. It is some of the best you can find. What do I feel like this guy is going to, like, drug us and rob us? Um, all of you are probably wondering why I'm being so generous. Obviously not from the kindness of his heart, you think. Well, in a way, I am. You look like the type to be on the outlook for ways to improve the quality of your life. Well, I have a proposal that could help you in that endeavor. You see, there's a girl, my lover, in fact, who desires to escape her father and live on her own. Her father is Antar Civilshield, one of the Dukes of Baldur's Gate. This, of course, makes her, desi her desires more difficult than, oh my goodness, than that of the average city girl. However, with your assistance, we could help her escape the tyrannical clutches of Antar. Here's the punchline. Since Antar is going to be hunting us anyway, we can blackmail him for hordes of cash and not worry about our captive escaping. After all, we're doing it for the sake of s Ski? Sky? I'm going to go with Sky. Uh, now, we needn't go about this right away. In fact, I'll help you with whatever you're doing until you decide to head up to Baldur's Gate. Just think of it as one favor deserving another. Um, <laughs> you always the slimy, or is this one of your better days? Go find someone else to help with your worthless schemes. You know, you could make the case that uh, that rescuing the girl from the clutches of her father... Could be a good thing, but it could also be that this guy is up to no good. Uh, and in fact, doesn't know her and just wants to, uh... He's so lovely! 
sharing his alcoholic beverage. But who would we kick out? I mean, that's the real problem. I mean, I suppose you could argue that Monty's usefulness has somewhat waned. But he's still really good at, with that sling. <laughs> it, it, feels, it feels scummy to me, Estella. This whole plot. Blackmail the Duke with his daughter that she wants to run away anyway, in theory. Assuming he's telling the truth. He also killed a bunch of gnolls. Here's, yeah, it's definitely a scheme. I I know I'm neutral evil, but that doesn't mean I have to like every scheme I come across, right? Um, find someone else to help you in your worthless schemes. I think that's where we're going. Sorry, Estella. We're, we're going the other way. We're telling him to shove off. I'm not saying he's a bad guy, but uh, he seems like a bad guy. <laughs> so I'm telling him to shove off. You're missing the opportunity of your life. Or is this the opportunity to save my life? Is he still going to stand here so we can come back and... You're so dull. Please don't bother me, unless of course you've changed your mind about my proposal and desire my companionship. We can discuss it over some allure, allure, after, over some wine. Nope, no desire to get to know you better. Sorry. Sorry, Estella. I, I feel like you, you wanted yep. this person in our party, didn't you? This way. This way. Goody, Go on, goody. I'm on it. Oh, there's always something to complain about, isn't there? I off this way. Spit it out. I'm on it. Spit it out, indeed. But I've done had enough. Oh well, wow. don't take the short route or anything there, uh, Jahira. Now I'm all paranoid for traps. You rat. right? What's this then? What you want? This way. And that paranoia will last precisely until I'm about to run into the next trap, and then Love I'll forget it. about it. Sorted. Yep, I'm gone. Well, here's the edge of the map, so Spit it out. I'm on let me it. see if there's anything else to see. Cloakwood! Oh my goodness, how much cloakwood is there? How did we end up? There's so much cloakwood. One of the worst you can get, hey? <laughs> well, you weren't wrong. Okay, how do I get... Some bits. It's not time for supper yet. Just... No. If you like to switch the show now, we can do that, but we're not... Um, we're not starting supper, okay? Nope, not for an hour yet. Yes, you can pick a new show. Uh... <laughs> he he's got just enough of a of a off-putting sort of intro there um so yes i will be right back again uh maybe i will assume let's see how long it takes to figure out that i'm back mm. oh well that that at least shows that i'm back maybe the uh Add thingy helped with that kind of even everything up a little bit. I mean, our it still shows we're dropping an awful lot of frames, but uh, the bitrate's supposed to be should be back where it's supposed to be. So we'll hope we'll hope that that helped. <laughs> Maybe playing ads is the secret to solving our our internet troubles. I kind of doubt it, but you rang right. What's anything's this, uh... possible at least. The cloakwood is kind of gigantic here, um, I'm noticing.
kind of makes things awkward, you know? More bears! What's up with there being bears everywhere? I, care not. I feel what like need ye dead? she cares not. Go on, then. Sorted. Just casual bears standing around. They don't seem to, they don't seem to bother with us at all. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. As good as done. Talk to the bear. Spit it out. Right, oh, we'll there's water there. here. Well, apparently we can't talk to the bear. Still, which makes me sad. Shouldn't a druid be able to talk to a bear? I don't know, maybe that's that's obviously later sort of in the game than everything else, but... Or not late, whatever, it's not... I don't know if it's just not part of this game, or... Maybe it wasn't part of what they were able to do, or maybe I'm just thinking of... Like, YouTube shorts and stuff you see where people... With people in Baldur's Gate 3 chatting with a squirrel. So it makes you think you can talk to, uh... Now the bear's kind of following us. I'm assuming there's a bridge on the road over here, but... It's hard to tell. This could just be the... The coast here, right? Huh. Alright, well, let's see what we get. Oh no, that's a bridge. Thinking for a second maybe it was going to send us over to the next region so we could, like, backtrack and how unfortunate that would be. Certainly seems a little better than some of the bridges in the Long Dark, doesn't it? It would be good for you to watch your actions while in this wood. <laughs> Laskell, you there! I command you to stop so that I may parley with you a moment. We don't have time for you, old time. Ah, uh, we, well, we got. We'll give him a minute of our time. Who are you? What is it that you want with us? My name is Laskell, and I am the protector of the Cloakwood. I would ask you a question before I take my leave. I have a message for those that serve the Iron Throne. Would you be a representative of that organization? Uh, no. Uh, why, yes, we are. Hand over... Oh, this is it. Oh. So he's the protector of the Cloakwood. Um, I have a message for those that serve the Iron Throne. I feel like he might attack us if we say we are part of the Iron Throne. Like, that sounds plausible, doesn't it? Right? Like, I have a message for them, and the message is MY SWORD THROUGH YOUR... Yeah. Uh, I think we better say that we have no connection with them, and then he's probably going to be friendly to us. That's my guess, but we'll find out. Hmm... An enemy of an enemy is a friend. Apparently, yes. We were right that he doesn't like them. My earlier question was just a test. I'm glad to know that you also oppose this organization. They've been a blight on these woods ever since they reopened the ancient dwarven iron mine. Well, I'm glad to know you. Take this. Oh, hopefully it will aid you against the Iron Throne. The Iron Throne's fort is located to the east. Right, so that would be the new place that we saw there. So we're, get, we're heading in the right direction. I mean, we still got to finish exploring around here, I feel like, but... Uh, there we go. We gained a potion of invulnerability. Nice. Uh. Yeah, now we got three potions of invulnerability. Super. We can save there. I still feel like we should explore the map as much as we can, though. Never know what other uh, wildlife we might come across, or perhaps bandits. I hear something on the water. Uh oh. That's a cave bear! Why does the cave bear seem so angry? All right, all right, Khalid. That's not a chia bear. You spoke at me? Oh, I, the really not in this. 
Alright, well that's nice. What else can you two You're ladies do fellow. for damage? We got 19. You well, I mean, I guess we can all it. just attack him, right? Click um, on someone your own size. Click well, on man. someone your own size. That's for right. Ow! There we go. 650 XP. I'm on it. <laughs> at eight at four forty seven thirty eight PM CST, pretty much mean time minus six hundred, we killed a cave bear. Excellent. Um that, yeah, I think it's all I think it's all sorted itself out now. I think the ad break gave us a chance to kind of get everybody back on the same page. But, uh, yeah, it was like when I went, when I, like, I don't know if you heard me say that I was going to put the ad break on, but when I said I was going to put the ad break on and I closed the camera, it took like more than a minute for it to catch up. Um, yeah, to let me know that we were, uh, Sorted. That we were good to go. Why there's a cave bear when there's no sign of a cave anywhere nearby. One of one of life's great mysteries, I'm sure. Oops. There we go. Yeah, whatever the reason was for that delay, it does seem to be. Oh, there's nowhere, there's nowhere to go on this side of the map now. We cannot go any farther west. Interesting. And that's probably a good thing in the end. Oh, what have we here? Baldorn. It looks like it's in a possibly druidic type area what you want I've done had enough <sighs> I did not need that okay <laughs> I thought I just put detect trap on I thought she had walked into the middle of a trap oh Oh man, not nice. Okay, well. You've a task. Yeah, I do. Yeah, we'll do it. We're gonna do it three times here. Good grief. That's not even getting his health all the way back to, to full. Actually, we could do it one more and still not Go be on, wasting man. anything. About to make a joke about lightning when I mentioned that we couldn't travel any farther west. Yeah. We, we got the lightning all right. I mean, it figures we're carrying around, we're tromping around in, the sun, in a thunderstorm carrying, you know, in some cases, literally covered head to toe in metal. Uh, there's no reason we shouldn't expect a lightning blast to uh, sort of shake things up. What do you got to save? Oh, let's let's quick save before we talk to Faldorn here. I am Faldorn. I have been looking for those who would fight for the sanctity of this forest. Mm. Evil men have been defiling the woodlands with smoke and waste, all in a futile quest for the metal iron. Would you join me in my task? I would destroy these men of the Iron Throne. Come with me. They dwell to the east in a within a fort. <coughs> well, we certainly want to uh, certainly want to fight them. You will help me. Let us find the men who foul our forests quickly. Their punishment must be swift. We travel east to their fort. Can we still do the quest without her? Like. Are we sure we want to remove this character from the party? 
Um, if we remove her, does she disappear? Like, again, there's nobody I really want to get rid of. I'm I'm pretty happy with the composition of our of our little band here. Done. Nature is all. Very well, but do not forget what I have taught you, friends. Walk with rage against all who threaten the Great Mother. She's definitely a... Uh, uh, what does it say here? Uh, of course, right. Um, looks like we can talk to her again if we want to. Uh, a hidden base in the Cloakwood. They all dwell in a fort to the east. Is that... Yeah, Baldorn. There we go. So yes, that's progress on the quest either way. You rang. Right, what's this then? You rang. Oh, we're supposed to come at it from the other side, are we? Civilization seems far, city dweller. Good grief. Takia? Who's also coming to talk to us. You cannot hide from judgment while within the sight of a shadow druid. A shadow druid? Oh no, the shadow druids are bad news. Or at least we were warned that they were bad news. All who claim membership in traditional Druidic orders must contend with our wrath, as will all that defile nature. I have identified Jahira among you. No doubt she has converted you to her fan fantastical views, wherein people live alongside of nature in harmony. Such views are weak and must be purged. You have consorted with the enemies of the Shadow Druids, and death shall be the penalty. Ah! Alright, well, I guess we don't have much choice but to fight this person. All right. Well, go on then. That's the way you want it, pal. Say good night. There we go. A measly 120 XP and studded leather armor, which does us no good. Right, so yeah, on? there's that. I was kind of not expecting that there would be two NPCs so relatively close together, but I suppose in some ways it shouldn't shock me, hey? And really, we don't need any more shocks at the moment. I feel shocked enough as it is. Oh, wow, what the heck is... The heck is this thing? Is it the, oh, this has got to be like the Shadow Druid Enclave or whatever, hey? Well, you know. It's a treehouse! But it, is it a treehouse for what? Clearly there's some Druidic stuff happening over here. I suppose we could, uh... I suppose we could go and check this out now. We we maybe got time. Maybe it's just a house. We should probably do that. Uh, save the game. There we go. Um. C uh, can I help you? Spit it out. Well, hopefully. Sorted. This is a good thing. It is, in fact, a house. Wow. Anybody home? A couple of things over here, but... I'm on it. Uh... Yep. I've done had enough of this. Locked and probably locked. Oh, no. Money. Not much money. Unlock it for the skill for the XP. Ooh, potions. Freedom. Healing. Antidote. Well, let's not take Unrang. anything yet. Let's let's see if there's anybody Sorted. at home. Oh, good grief. The stairs, the spiral stairs, thwarting heroes everywhere. It would be good for you to watch your actions while uh -oh. in this wood. 
Amarand. Hello, don't mind us as we barge into your home. Seniyad's followers are well known to me. You travel with the one known as Jahira. Her naive views of society living in harmony with nature must be cleansed from the world. Oh, so that nature may regain the respect it deserves. As a shadow archdruid, it falls to me to be the sickle that cleaves your parasitic taint from the forest. There will be no talking, no negotiation. Well, I don't won't feel bad about stealing all of his stuff, if that's the way it's going to be. Um, again, somebody warned us about shadow druids. Or what do they call themselves? Yeah, shadow druids. Why would they call themselves shadow druids? Is that what it said? Yeah, shadow arch druid. Oh, dear. Well, here comes the fight. We may lose, but that's why we saved outside the door. Uh, unfortunately, Monty's standing at the front here, so... This better be... I'll do your toil. You have need of me? Yep. Oh, dear. What's he doing? Go on, then. Get him. Get away! 15 and plus 1 and 9. Oh, this guy's got some HP too, doesn't he? Ah. Uh. uh huh. <laughs> Horror. Let's try a flame arrow. He might go down before we can really use it, but. Five fi- wait, what? Takes five fire damage from Nira, 11 resisted. I guess he's a druid. I didn't really think that through, did I? Um, but I guess he's down now. Spit it out. He's got regular armor and a club. You rang. Well, we gotta, we gotta see what the, what the club is about. Something tells me this is a weapon designed specifically for Jahira. This could almost be like a quest she would have sent us on if we'd, you know, had the right dialogue with her or something, but might be too late to, to deal with that now, but uh, identify Mighty Oak plus two fashioned from the hardest old oak from the high forest. This gnarled cudgel can fell an adult grizzly when wielded by a skilled warrior. Plus two. 16 plus two damage. Nice. All right. Well, clearly that is for Jahira. And we are... Oh, sorry, what do we get from that for a... Yep. Minus two to the armor. Whatever, the armor class business. And two bonus damage. Perfect. I don't even want to keep the wooden one. It's not worth anything. It doesn't really weigh anything either, but... All right. Not the fight I had in mind, but uh, we'll take it. Enough. Detect traps. This way. Okay, open this first, then. Ooh, bullets. Nothing. <laughs> if none are better. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. This way. Potion of Fortitude. Go All on, right, then. well, that's just the three things to open. Yes. Sorted. I'm on it. Uh, order staff and the sling are not worth, not worth picking up. Ah, uh, who picked up those magic bullets? Oh, it's just bullet plus one. Oh, I guess we don't have to identify it. We just know by instinct. Okay, well. I guess. Bullet plus one it is. You can kind of... You guys probably can't see it on the stream. Technically, it's very slightly got more blue on it, I think, than the other one. But, uh... Yeah, that was significantly uh, less work than... I, ex I expected this place to be more like a dungeon than just a... Right, what's this then? House, but I guess it's a tree house, so all makes sense. 
Yeah, ultimately we want to end up over here and go that way, but... Sorted. Another bear. Another bear. Holy bears! Talk about the bear necessities. The simple bear necessities of life. Ah, uh, the jungle book. Don't sort of... mess with nature, or it'll mess with you. Oh dear. Ezephia. You are friends of Jahira, are you not? She is one of the Druidic Order that followed Seniyad. One of the three arch druids. Well, I do not share their philosophy. It's because of their pacifist doctrines that atrocities against nature continue. Like the fool to the northeast that entraps animals and enslaves them for his petty tasks. Um, fool to the northeast. Interesting. As a shadow druid, I fight so that nature is left untouched. There is no room for society to live alongside. This must be forced through fear and the removal of the naive taint Jahira and her kind of sown. Well, we're just all about... Uh... Sorry. Just remember, you started this. Sorted. Like he's trying to cast something, but... It's hard to cast a spell when you're dead. You know? Oh, what's that? A cave. Hmm. Do we want to explore a cave? A wolf! Oh! <laughs> Several wolves. Oh, are they coming through here? They are. What need ye dead? C can I help you? All right. Well, then. Just get him. Spit it out. Where'd the other one end up? Sorted. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, where did the other ones end up? I should say, hey. What is it this time? What you want? Wolf, to, why is this one not in? Oh, that's that's the bow, not from Nira. Okay, well. What? Spellcaster level decreased by two. What happened there? Yeah, it only fired two instead of three. Confused. Nature you bet. You rang. Yes, O omnipresent authority figure. All right, fine. Get him. Get over here. My blade will cut you down the side. Yep. That's what my blade is going to do, except she's shooting arrows, but... Speaking of, I'm on it. suppose you could or argue it was a bladed arrow, maybe? I don't know. You could say a lot of things, couldn't you? Back this direction now. There are days with this that I still feel like I'm just straight up playing the game wrong. Because of the way I just kind of explore the regions and what have you. There's the cave entrance over there. Well. Oh, what do we got? A Tazloy. And a squirrel. Oh, 
multiple Tesla. <coughs> uh, yes. Wow. All right. Dead, just like that. You spoke at me. Dead, just like that. Yep. <laughs> morale, morale failure. It's running away. This way. You ran. Right, what's this then? My blade will cut you down to size. Okay, well, let's deal with this guy first. There we go. I'm on it. Don't need the spears now, so. There's that. Uh. All right, let's let's see what we got over here. Kind of a wonky cave entrance, but I mean, I guess. All right, save again, because that's all we ever do in this game is save. Uh, let's actually spit it out. Tahira's got some berries I can eat, right? Can she cast the... She can cast berries again. Perfect. You rang. Not really good for uh, in combat necessarily, but go on then. All right, I'm on it. Peter of the North and a baby wyvern or two. Well, what's Peter got to say here now? Um, move along, friends. Nothing to see here. Just a humble woodsman doing a little spelunking. This is an odd place to be a woodsman. Are you not afraid of those baby wyverns behind you? Have you seen any bandits or otherwise trustworthy people around? What are you doing here? Tell me before I kill you. Um... Yes, let's let's play his game and see what kind of a woodsman. Are you not afraid of those baby wyverns? You just don't know the subtleties of wood and wood-related activities. These creatures are docile, and and it's worth the risk. Um, even the darkest of caves can be a rewarding experience for the woodsman that knows how to handle himself. Why, um, subterranean trees can yield the best material for carving uh, ornamental thingies, yeah. Um, subterranean trees shall lead you to your work. I think you're lying to me. Give me one reason why I shouldn't kill you. Subterranean trees. Certainly. I have, have I given cause for you to doubt me? Of course not. Everything is just as it should be. There is nothing untoward about me or my wife. I mean, there's nothing untoward about these wyverns. Are you implying something? Do your actions not seem odd to you? Um, not at all. It's not uncommon for for a woodsman to seek the comfort of natural caverns and, and oh, to blazes with it. I can tell by your questions that you suspect me of lying and I tire of this ruse. No, I am not a simple woodsman. I am training these beasts to serve as guards. And now that you've interrupted me, I shall never have them ready for the mine. The mine? Oh, dear. Ah, uh, your presence has agitated them. They will be unmanageable for days. Perhaps... Perhaps I can placate them with meat. Your meat. What a guy. Well, I guess we're going to have to fight these guys. Attacks Khalid. Does he have a... Uh, he does have I a bow. Okay, help? well. Shoot the baby wyvern. Don't really like it, but shoot the baby wyvern. Uh, you have need of me? 
This better be good. Right. Spit it out. You fight the guy. Nature servant. You awaits. fight the wyvern. You <coughs> switch yes. to your sword. And I guess fight the guy. There's one wyvern down. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. Yes, how'd I know you were gonna be what snooty about it? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Oh, three crushing damage. Two resisted. Wow. Taking a few hits here. Peter of the North, broken weapon. Ouch. Oh, well, that's the end of that guy. You rang. Yep. Take it down, I guess. He's got a broken weapon, all right. Uh, put mail shirt. It's worth a few coins, I'm, I'm imagining. But I really bet that's a that's a frost arrow. Pardon me, arrow of ice. Go give that here. Oh, good grief. Gave the wrong one away there. Oh, that's an arrow plus one. What happened? Uh, yeah, what happened? I thought we had two different kinds of arrows we picked up. Yeah, there's the other kind. So it just says arrow plus one. We already know what it is, right. And fire opal ring. All right, well, Go on, then. now that that's dealt with, and we definitely don't need the... Right, what's this then? Is this like a back entrance to the mine? What you want? This way. No, it's just a container. All right, well, Spit it out. Sorted. not quite what you would call anticlimactic, but uh, also not right, super intense way. either, was it? I mean, it wasn't an easy fight, but no wonder wyverns have been plaguing the coast or the woods or whatever you want to call it. A vampiric wolf. Oh, dear. Doesn't sound very good. Okay, uh, can I help you? You spoke at me? Yep. Indeed. Wow, everybody miss. You rang? Uh, flame arrow it is then. You rang. All right, well, that could have been a lot worse. Emowen, weapon ineffective. What did she fire? I care not. She fired her regular bow, right? Go on, then. My blade will cut you down to size. Near a weapon unusable. What? Uh huh. Did her sling break? Oh, she's got just the wrong. No, her sling is fine. Why was her weapon unusable? They're immune to non magical weapons. Oh, okay. So if we want to hit it, we better switch to like a ice arrow or a fire arrow or something is what I'm hearing. Right, so so Monty's gonna be 
So, yep. So Monty and Emu One are basically gonna go huh, use their. You're a queer fellow. I don't know. Is a short sword plus one? That's not even a, a weapon, I like a magical weapon either, is it? Uh, what I guess we better. Um... Yeah, use magic missiles. My blade will crush it down the side. That that's good to know. That's not something you would necessarily. Get, right? Uh, I guess technically, is this the magical weapon? Does cold damage. Everything plus one and more is magical. Okay, so yeah. What you want? These guys can use this their daggers. I think his is good. plus. Yeah, plus one. Or short swords or whatever the they first, have. I don't succeed. The wife won't let me forget. Save versus death. Yikes. There we go. Way to be, Khalid. So what is that little icon there? Uh, no. Protection from electricity, protection from cold. Held! Oh, we're, we're like... Yeah, frozen in place or what have you. You've a task? Yep. Heal me! Can I help you? Can I help you? I'll do my best. Oh, I'm still held. <laughs> Guess we need to wait for that to wear off, do we? It's definitely uh, not convenient, but I have no idea how to undo that. Just wait it out. Oh, there we go. Spit it out. Right, what's this then? Because I just realized the target was gone. Is that what happened? Oh, that is the northern edge of the map. But something tells me we can't go up there. There's no other region on that side, I'm gonna guess. Yep. come all the way up here and see what we can see. Oh, what do we got? What is that? A dread wolf. Well, that's not the same thing. You have need of me? Uh, let's switch back to those regular arrows for now. Thanks. What need you dead? You rang? Uh, where's yep. Emo in? You rang. There we go. Go on, then. I'm on it. Oh, another one. Two more. Oh no. All right, get him. Wow. Taking a few damage there, aren't we? There it goes. Sorted. All right, so we've practically discovered all the map here. Which means that should be the last of the enemies we have to fight, right? All right, well, I think the smart thing to do is to save and, and, uh, and heal. Um... Right, save and heal. There we go. And rest.
only to be woken up by... Nothing! Woken up by nothing. Okay. So yes. The next thing should be the cloakwood here. The cloakwood is just massive. Feeling there's more cloakwood here, too. What do I know? Uh, brother. All right, well. Uh, I think our best bet should be to actually go travel here and then rest again. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Well, it's a good thing we saved because those look like adult wyverns and this could be very bad. This could be very, very bad. Yeah. All right. Uh... The smart thing to do is to go to bed. <laughs> well, I'm in this fight now, but uh, next stream should be Tuesday, Estella. Because uh, I work tomorrow, and then I have Tuesday off, and then I got to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, and then I have Saturday, Sunday off. So, yes, expect to stream Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to fight these Wyverns. But uh, I'm assuming you're suggesting you've got to head to bed, which is totally fair. I know it's super late for you, and uh, I won't have too much time anyway because i got to get the barbecue going here. It's actually looking kind of, not stormy, but just gray out. So, yes, that will be the next stream. Or at least that's the plan for the next stream is Tuesday uh, in two days. But, yes, super great having you here. Glad you were able to sort out the mix-up with your, your walk-on sound there. I'm not sure what was wrong with it, but uh, yeah, bless you. Take care. I'm going to fight some wyverns. Have a great one. Till cool, Tuesday. Uh, okay. Everyone attack. Just got to pick one, right? Um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's use your flame arrow here that you just got. From. What is this one? Horror. Oh, we could cast horror on this one. Uh, does it work on... Maybe we won't use that. Maybe we'll just use web. Is that it? Web, yes. We'll use web on that one and try and split them. So otherwise, I have a feeling this is going to be a tough fight. Well, maybe I'm wrong. I think we I think we nabbed it, though. Or maybe not. Oh, it's flying, so maybe that doesn't do any good at all. Spit it out. I'm on it. No, no, no. What is it? You still time? use the spell. My blade will cut you down to size. Well, that's one wyvern right. down, so. My blade right. will cut you down to size. Man, they do a lot of poison damage. Poor Jahira. Come on, guys, let's get her. You stop using that. Use your sword. Go on, then. Alright, so new plan here. I am going to cast Slow Poison on Jahira. You rang. Oh, I can't really not do this. There we go. All right. 1,400 XP for each of them. That is pretty I'm snazzy. And we burned a spell slot or two. Oh, this is this a... Wyvern head? The severed head of a wyvern is both a fearsome and a reassuring sight. Gruesome as its fanged maw and blazing eyes may be, there is consolation in the knowledge that they can be conjured by mere and lowly... or conquered by mere and lowly mortals. 30. All right, well, we're... I guess we'll take them. They're probably worth turning into somebody. Not, you know, like turning into somebody, Nature but turning in for a quest awaits. to somebody. Alright. Go on then. So I guess there's nothing more to hang around here for. Let's try to get to the cloakwood here again. 
All right. Here we are. Sorted. Oh, and I'm a little bit overburdened, aren't I? Uh, not by much, but... Monty's pretty strong. Actually, I'm going to give both of them to Monty. Since he's holding the... the... Vi! Oh, okay. Fair enough. That's good. Good to know, uh, Estella. Um, she's the one you give the scalps to anyway, right? Or the, the toupees. We're calling them toupees. Uh, all right. Well, we can do that, certainly. Not sure if hang, dragging around the split mail is really worth it, but we can always toss it later. Um, all right. So, save game. All right, and we're going to rest. Uh, to make sure we get those spell slots back. No way late in the nighttime. Uh, Thalantir is better, but I guess you don't know where he is. I don't know where he is. Um, we did meet somebody who told us about wyverns causing trouble. Um, I think it was in the first part of the cloakwood that we went to. So I'm not... Well, the land here sounds familiar. Maybe it was... Uh, maybe that is where he was. Um, like, would be in at the start of this region here. 52 hours, good grief. Um, if it's the person I'm thinking of, but it could well not be. So, we'll, we'll see if I remember that or not next when it comes to, uh, to next time. But clearly everything is restored. We're full health. Uh, we are going to save, and I'm going to wrap it up here. I met him before. Okay, well, the name... Oh, is he a mage? Is he like the... No, that's... That's somebody else. No. Aragost. Uh, the name sounds familiar, so that makes sense that I met him before. But, uh, yeah, we're going to save again here, and we are going to... Uh, a green dude. Like, with a, with a big, with a big, like, green robes? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where he is. Uh, I remember we met him somewhere, but I don't know where he went to now. But I guess we can see. We can always stash them somewhere if it really comes to that. But, um, yeah. No worries. But, uh, yeah. You gotta go anyway, and I'm gonna wrap it up here since I gotta go and get, uh, supper, supper started. So, I feel like it's been a good stream. I feel like we got lots accomplished. Uh, and I feel like, um, I'm still enjoying this game. Uh, I didn't realize it was set quite so easy, but, uh, I'm, I'm more here for the story than I am for intense, difficult combat, so I don't necessarily mind that either. Uh, as far as the raid goes, we are going to raid Salou Bouton because she is doing a charity stream all this week, uh, like seven days in a row, and, uh, even though there aren't a ton of us here, uh, I would like to support the fact that she's doing a charity stream and, uh, and she's a great human being and, uh, miss spending so much time in her chat in her uh, streams, but that's just life keeping us busy. So, uh, yeah. Thanks again to everybody who's, uh, who's been here today and, uh, look forward to seeing you on, uh, on Tuesday. Yeah. Let's get that raid started. And, uh, See you on the next one, guys. You're fantastic. Good night.